Expo 2017 in Astana, Kazakhstan was the largest international event of the year and also the first expo in Central Asia. It was critical that the United States participate and thanks to the partnership and friendship of our diverse stakeholders, the USA Pavilion was an extraordinary and unforgettable success. Having the U.S. participate in Expo was to demonstrate the importance of the bilateral relationship and the importance of working together for the future. So this just had to happen, and we had to find a way to make it happen. The USA Pavilion is a perfect example of a successful public-private partnership. I would argue it was the most successful private partnership we had in all of 2017. The Assistant Secretary of State Nisha Biswal mentioned that Expo 2017 will be a unique opportunity for the U.S. companies to showcase their technological innovations, clean energy, and a great way to strengthen Kazakh-U.S. ties. When the government of Kazakhstan kind of came to us with this vision of the Expo and their desire for the United States to be a key partner. It was such a compelling case that I immediately saw its importance and its relevance. The USA Pavilion's theme was the source of infinite energy. We approached the pavilion from a hearts and minds perspective to give guests a feeling for America, us as Americans, and to share our energy of life. When the pavilion doors opened, visitors entered and were surrounded by images of the United States and greeted by an American student ambassador. A short film featured America's spirit of innovation, drawing inspiration from the past while highlighting cutting edge technologies of tomorrow. The Energy of Life Theater and its massive synchronized screens displayed a surprising, delightful, an entertaining show that expressed the USA Pavilion's theme of infinite energy while celebrating the spirit and diversity of America and its people. The post show invited guests to learn more about the Pavilion's partners and sponsors and how the United States and Kazakhstan continue to expand upon their successful friendship. The Pavilion's VIP Lounge provided a venue for sharing ideas, networking, and hosting a variety of events, delegations, and forums. So the concept around the Pavilion was to create a theme that would sort of celebrate the unique relationship between Kazakhstan and the U.S., between people and people, and nations and nations. So it all comes back to one simple idea. It's always about people and the way that we connect with each other. The USA Pavilion was so much more than just a physical space. It was an experience that brought people together both inside and outside the Expo and all throughout Kazakhstan. There wasn't a day that went by where Kazakhstan did not see the USA Pavilion. Maybe it was on television or on social media. But every day, we were in the news and on their newsfeed. I had a lot of people have the preconceived notion of what an American is. And with the interviews, with the Instagram posts, with the people that I was able to talk to at Expo, now they know that we are a mix of different nationalities, different ethnicities, different people that are just American. This pavilion not only shows you what America is all about, but actually has the real people, young people, curious people, that intensifies the feeling of authenticity. The Student Ambassador Program was a key element to the USA Pavilion experience. The 40 Student Ambassadors represented 29 states and spoke 17 languages, offering visitors direct, personal interactions with Americans throughout the pavilion. You are the first person they see and that first interactions that they do have with an American. I love that my experience as a student ambassador wasn't just one way. We got so much out of 
working with the visitors. We got to travel. We got to speak with diplomats from the U.S. State Department. We got to have concerts in our pavilion and get to know the artists. The impact of the USA Pavilion was immense and in only three months reached more than a million people in person, online, and through the media. At no other time in history have Americans been able to directly connect with so many Kazakhstanis. For Kazakhstan, it is very big that USA as a country participated in this expo. We had so many people who've never seen Americans before, and I think those moments were precious for both sides. It inspired a lot of young people who visited the U.S. Pavilion, and uh, they are building the true relations, they are building the true understanding between the countries, and the people-to-people -people relations are much more important than anything else. By the end of the expo, these weren't just Americans, and we weren't just Kazakh. We were friends. And we had so much more in common than we did apart. I would say that the source of infinite energy is how we build on each other's ideas, how we come together to make great things happen, even between strangers. And I think this expo really highlighted the beauty of that. I mean, all of you who were behind the pavilion, uh, the organizers, the sponsors, of course, the commissioner, Ambassador Kroll, student ambassadors, unbelievable job. So thank you. We're very lucky that we're a part of that. And also very happy that Expo as a whole turned out to be a success. I think it's been a very positive thing for the United States, for Kazakhstan, for this region of the world. And it's a vision, I think, that we all share with Kazakhstan. It's the idea that an expo is a sign of unity. The success of the USA Pavilion is evident through the myriad stories and connections it generated. Its lasting impact is the positive change to people's hearts and minds and the increased understanding, cooperation, and friendship between the United States and Kazakhstan. This legacy of partnership will live well into the future.